KTSA News Flash. It took a relatively short six hours of deliberation before a jury in Dallas came back with a verdict in the case of a former police officer who shot her upstairs neighbor to death last year. Amber Geiger's assertion from the moment she called 911 has been that. I'm an off-duty officer. I thought it was in my apartment, and I shot a guy thinking it was my apartment. It apparently fell on deaf ears as Judge Tammy Kemp read the verdict. We, the jury, unanimously find the defendant. Amber Geiger, guilty of murder as charged in the indictment. No outbursts. Now prosecutors will push for a 99-year prison sentence as the punishment phase of the trial begins. Jim Ryan, ABC News, Dallas. The battle between a constable and Bear County has landed in court. Precinct 2 Constable Michelle Barrientes Vela will remain in office pending a court hearing October 11th. Meanwhile, county commissioners are proceeding to review 29 applications for Vela's job. This straining order does not preclude Commissioner's Court from moving forward on selecting a candidate for potential interviews. County spokeswoman Monica Ramos told KTSA News a finalist for Precinct 2 Constable will be selected this Wednesday and a hearing on October 11th will determine when and if the appointment becomes effective. Elizabeth Ruiz, KTSA News. A former tax assessor who evaded paying her own taxes will avoid doing prison time. Hannah Gonzalez is the former tax assessor collector for Wilson County. She pleaded guilty in August to gaming the computer system in her office office to order in order to evade paying taxes for 10 years. Gonzalez could have been sentenced to two years in state prison, but she was instead sentenced to five years probation. Her lawyer said she should not be sent to prison because she's elderly and in poor health and has no other criminal history. A Round Rock principal was placed on administrative leave yesterday over alleged discrimination against students and employees. Faculty and families at early college high schools say since she took over the role last year, Veronica Cross and Koss uh, not only made bigoted remarks, but discouraged teachers from taking students to historically black universities and did not make accommodations for those with disabilities. Former Secretary Evelyn Navarez quits due to what she considered a hostile work environment. It was hard for me to let go of the district, of the students. It was my career, but somebody had to be the voice for them. E-cigarettes are no longer available at HEB. The San Antonio-based grocery giant pulled the products off their shelves to protect public safety. A widespread investigation is underway into a national outbreak of severe lung illness related to vaping. At last count, 54 Texans have suffered severe harmful effects. The Federal Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says a dozen people nationwide have died. The Federal Trade Commission's latest reports warns about the types of scams that millennials are falling for than the older generations, including fake check scams and online shopping scams. ABC's Rebecca Jarvis has some tips on how users can keep their money safe online. You want to stop communication. If anything sounds off, if someone's asking you for money online, take a pause before you reach for that wallet. Also, talk to people that you know and trust. Vet it with them. And then finally, research the request. A lot of the time, what you end up seeing is if you Google, someone's asking me for X. If you Google that immediately, you're going to get a bunch of hits that say, that's a scam. KTSA Money News. It's the first trading day of October and of the fourth quarter. October has a history of volatility. We'll see if that continues this year. In Q3, stocks had their third straight quarter of gains. Year to date, the Dow is up 15%. The Nasdaq up 20%. The S&P 500 up almost 19%. That's if you invested on January 1st. Over the past 12 months, though, returns not so great, with the Dow and S&P gaining about 2%. The Nasdaq's down slightly. Amazon's in talks to bring its cashierless Go technology to airports and movie theaters. CEOs are buzzing about income inequality, with Senator Sanders proposing a tax on companies where the CEO makes 50 times more than the median employee. On today's watch list, August construction spending numbers, September automaker sales, and Forbes is out with its famous Forbes 400, richest Americans last year. Amazon's Jeff Bezos was at the top. KTSA AccuWeather. Partly sunny. It'll be very warm and humid this afternoon. The high at 94. Warm and humid tonight. Increasing cloudiness could pick up a late night shower. Low 76. A stray shower tomorrow morning. Otherwise, clouds will give way to some sun. Warm day. High 93. Thursday, clouds give way to some sun. A shower in spots. A warm afternoon. The high Thursday at 93. I'm Steve Williams with your KTSA Stevens Roofing AccuWeather Forecast. I'm Dennis Foley. Get news around the clock in 550 KTSA and FM 1. Get news anytime online at KTSA.com.